Hello and welcome to day seven of Advent of Sight. We're about to get into some very interesting tasks, but before we do that, let me introduce myself. My name is Caleb Oni. I'm honored to be part of Advent of Cyber this year, and I'm super excited for what we're about to do in this video. So make sure you click below and follow along while you watch. Let's get right into it. Network discovery, Santa Claus. The Christmas preparations are delayed. Hopsec has breached our QA environment and locked us out. Without it, the TBFC projects can't be tested and our entire Sockmas pipeline is frozen. To make things worse, the server is slowly transforming into a twisted Eastmas node. Can you uncover Hopsec's trail? Find a way back into the server and restore this server before the bunny's takeover is complete. For this task, you'll need to check every place to hide, every open port that bunnies have left unprotected. Best of luck. In this task, we're going to be learning the basics of network service discovery with the nmap command. We're gonna learn core network protocols and concepts along the way, and we're gonna apply our knowledge to get back into this server. First things first, let's make sure you can connect to your machine and follow along. For this task, we will have two machines that we'll be using. We'll be using the attack box, which is the attacker machine, and our target machine as well. So we'll be needing to run two VMs. Now we can get started by starting up our target machine. You can do so by clicking this start machine button. Make sure you wait two minutes after starting this machine as it takes a bit of time to fully boot. Whilst doing that, you can also start the attack box and the attack box will take a minute or two to boot as well. So I'll skip ahead. When doing this task, you have the option to either have a split screen with your attack box and the instructions, or you can use the attack box on another page by pressing the full screen button. Our attack box has been booted and is ready to go. We can now tick the first box. We have successfully launched our target machine and our attack box. Yes, yes. Now let's move on to the real task. Although we lost access to the QA server, at least it is still active and we know its IP address. So hopefully we can use this to find our way back into this machine. Now, when doing this, it is important to know some basic network concepts. So you can follow this link if you'd like to cover those before you get into this task, if you are a beginner. Let's move on. Here's the plan. We need to know our target. And in our case, we do. This is the name of our target server. And this is its IP address. It will be different for everyone. The second step, we'll need to scan for open ports. Third step, we'll explore what's behind the port. And finally, we'll exploit the service, find our way back into a server and kick out the bad bunnies from the QA server. Along this task, we'll be looking for three keys. And each time we find a key, we need to take note of it. Because when it's time to get back into our server, we'll need to use these three keys. This is the format the keys will be in. Let's begin with our first task. There are many ways we can scan ports, but on this occasion, we'll be using the nmap command for port scanning. All we need to do is type nmap and put in the IP address of the machine that we're targeting. This will scan the network and find the ports that are open on this device. Open the terminal by clicking this terminal icon. Let's type it in, nmap, and let's get the IP address of our target device, 10.82.115. Dot eight, seven, and hit enter. That command has just scanned the network ports and shown us two ports which are open. We can see that 22, which is the default SSH port is open and 80, which is our HTTP port is also open, which means we can reach this device over the internet. We can either access this machine over SSH if we knew the password, or we can visit the website using HTTP. And this is how we'll format it to get to the site. So let's open up Firefox on our attack box and try and access the site. It looks like we've reached the server and we can see that this server has been taken over. The bad bunnies are present. Look at this Easter bunny in the top left and look at these Easter eggs they've placed here. Read some of the messages they've put in here. Porn by Hopsec, oh dear. Eastmas takeover. Your QA server answers to Hopsec now. Its console is sealed with a lock. Only TBFC can pick. I scattered three fragments of the passphrase across your own chaos. Find them, stitch the words together, speak them to the gate, and take your box back if you can. King Malher. 
So that's it. We'll be looking for these three scattered fragments, which will come together as a passphrase to access this server. This is where we will need to enter that passphrase to get our server back. Let's continue. Scanning whole range. It seems the website is defaced by bad bunnies and we don't know the key to enter. We just scan 1000 ports, but there's actually 65,535 ports where other services can hide. So we'll use the P argument to scan all ports and the script equals banner command to see what's likely behind the port. Here's the command that we need to run. Let's copy the command and paste it into our terminal. Now don't worry if this command is taking a while to run. If you press enter, you can see what percentage it has reached. At the moment, this has reached 53% and it's been a minute or so. So this can take a couple of minutes. The command is complete and it looks like we found a few other things running on this server. One seems to be running on FTP and the other is some sort of application. Even though FTP runs on port 21 by default, it's possible to change the port to any other one, such as 21212, which is what this FTP server seems to be under. Let's try accessing the FTP in anonymous mode with the FTP command and see if we can find our way in. You can follow the commands in this terminal below. Let's start by grabbing this FTP command. They've asked for a name, and as mentioned before, we'll be accessing this in anonymous mode. Next, we'll put in the ls command. It seems like one of the keys that we're looking for is in this directory listing. As you can see here, tbfc qa key one. That's exactly what we're looking for. To find out what this key is and get access, let's use the get command. Let's type in get space the name of the key, tbfc underscore qa underscore key one. Okay, so for some reason that didn't give us our key. Let's try that again, but with a dash at the end. BFC underscore QA underscore key one space dash. Let's see if this gives us our key. And there it is, key one, Easter. Let's make sure we take note of key one. Congratulations, everyone. We have just got our first key. We need two more to get access to our machine. We can close this section using an exclamation mark. Port scanning modes. Good job on finding the first flag pop. There's nothing more we can see on the FTP server, so we're moving on to the custom map that we found on port 25251. And hopefully we can find a key in there. We'll use the netcat command, a universal tool that we use to interact with network services. Here's the command nc-v, the IP address and the port number that that IP address is placed on. Let's copy that and see what we get. The command has succeeded. Type help for commands. Let's go ahead and type in help and see what commands they give us. So there are a few commands here they say we can use. We can use the help command again. We can use status. We can use get key or we can just quit. Well, we're here for one mission and one mission only to find all of the keys and get access to our device. Let's use this get key command and see if we can get another one of the keys that we're looking for. Aha, amazing. We just found our second key and uh, is underscore the. Make sure you take a note of the second key for when we're trying to access our server. Now that we've done everything we need to do with the netcat command, we can use this quick command and move on. Another way to close the netcat client would be using control C. TCP and UDP ports. Congratulations on the second flag, but where to look for the third one? Till now, you've scanned only TCP ports, but guess what? There are 65,535 ports on UDP. And this is another transport protocol. There's a chance the hopsec secrets are hiding on UDP ports. If we want to switch to a UDP scan on using Nmap, we use this, S capital U. Let's try this and see if we can find something on the network. Nmap to capital U and the IP address of our device once again, 10. 
10.82.155.87. And it's done. We found another open port on the network. And this time it's 53, which is the DNS port. DNS is a protocol that drives the modern web by connecting domain names to IP addresses. Since this port is open, we can use the dig command to try and find some information. The dig command is a command used to perform advanced DNS queries. Let's take this first command and see what it gives us. And that's it. We have just found the third key. It's written in a way that looks like new Xmas using numbers and letters. Once again, let's make sure we take note of this third key. Now that we've got all three keys, I think it's time to see if we can get back into our target machine. Let's take that same URL we accessed earlier and see if we can get back in. Crack open Firefox, go to the search bar and go right back to where we were initially. This time, let's enter the key that we have found. If you remember correctly, the first key that we found was Easter, but it was written in an interesting way. Following the way we're supposed to combine the keys, Let's give it an underscore. Now I can't quite remember the second key, so let's scroll back up on our terminal and find it. Here it is, is the, let's put that in, is underscore the, with the backwards three. And the final key that we found was what looks like new Xmas. So, so this is the code. Easter is the new Xmas. Let's see if this code unlocks our server. Correct key, the terminal is now available. Let's go right to the terminal. We made it, we are in. We've now found all three keys and have logged in to our secret admin console. Once we've accessed the console, there's no need to scan ports as we can simply ask the operating system to list the open ports. This is also called port listening. We can do this by running this command. Let's copy that command and paste it into our admin console. Here we can see all of the open ports on our network without needing to run the nmap command. We've got DNS ports, we've got HTTP, we've got SSH and a couple more. In the output, you may see exactly the same services you scanned before listing on this IP address, but also some listing on this IP. With root permissions, you can also view the process column. However, for now, let's focus on the 3306 port, which is also the default for MySQL. If you do a quick Google search on what the 3306 port is, you'll find that this is the MySQL database management system. Since you're already inside the host, let's see the database content by using the MySQL program. So let's run this command to show the MySQL tables and hopefully find the flag that we need to expose the bunnies. Let's paste that command and see what it gives us. Upon running this command and showing the tables that we have, we have one table which says flags. Hopefully within this table, we can find the flag that we need to get rid of these evil bunnies. Let's copy this command, which will select all of the data from the flags table. I think we've just done it. We've successfully found the flag. You can see there is only one flag in this table and it's exactly what we need. Great job on finding the flag. You have exposed all bunnies secrets and regain full access to the QA server. Now it's time to secure all ports and restore the SOCMAS preparation pipeline. But for now, answer the questions below and finish the task. Let's run through these questions and complete our task. What was the evil message seen on top of the website? If you remember correctly, the evil message was pawned by Hopsec. Correct answer. Secondly, what was the first key found on the FTP server? It is Easter with a three. Don't forget the underscore. Amazing. What was the second key? Is the with a one five underscore TH three. 
And the third key, Easter is the new Xmas with a four five as the AS. Let's see. Correct. Which port was the MySQL database running on? And if you remember, we did a Google search. It was the 3306 port. Almost there. What's the flag you found in the database? THM, all services discovered. Let's copy that and paste the final answer. Well done guys, we have completed this task. If you enjoyed today's room, feel free to check out the Nmap basics room. And let's check this final checkbox. Network discovery Scanter Claws is complete. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next day of Advent of Cyber. This is Caleb signing out.